I'm Johan Furi from um, Benguela Cove Estate in the Walker Bay and this is my fourth time judging the FNB Sauvignon Blanc Top 10. What uh, definitely stands out is the, you know, not only its quality on the up but in, in general the wines are cleaner, there's more purity of fruit, there's more varietal characteristics, there's way less faults than what we've seen in the past. So. I mean, it, it comes as no surprise that Sauvignon is now the most popular category in terms of sales and consumption just by looking at the quality of, of the wines and the, in general how high the standards are. Um, you know, Sauvignon is really strong and, and shiny. Fiona MacDonald, freelance wine writer. I think this is my third or fourth year judging the FNB Sauvignon Blanc Top 10 Awards. For me, the difference this year has been how well the younger wines are showing. So the 2022 unwooded Sauvignon Blancs have shown particularly well. Been a little bit surprising in view of the fact that the 2022 vintage was considered difficult at the time of harvest. Maybe that's the reason for it, is that uh, winemakers and grape growers have to really be on top of their game to, to ensure that the fruit is healthy. And that's something that we're now seeing, you know, seven months down the line. So my name is Mahali Akojane and this is my first time judging for the FNB Sauvignon Blanc Top 10. The wines that we judged were really good, um, you know, wines that really showed a true reflection of where they came from, you know, there was, min you could see there was like minimal intervention. I'm Morgan Stein, making wine at the Grendel Wines. My third time um, judging at the FNB Sauvignon Blanc Top 10. The wines was exceptional, it was a a lower acidity, uh, so it was more elegant wines, more in balance wines. Um, so it, yeah, it was a, a, a lovely uh, bunch of wines that we've tasted. I'm Renee Grunewald, I'm from Uwes, and I'm a Cape Wine Master. The 2022 vintage has got less acidity, that it's much better integrated, it's ready to drink now, but it's not sacrificing that structure, that there's great examples where it ends on a stanchion, which, which we love. My name is Winnie Bowman. I'm a Cape Wine Master. This, I think, is about the 10th time that I'm judging um, the Sauvignon Blanc Top 10. So this year, we were very, very surprised in the high quality of, 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 of most of the wines. There were very, very few faulty wines. Um, lovely management of acid and fruit and alcohol. So overall, I would say much more balanced wines. Um, and if we look at the older wines, there were some wonderful examples of older unwooded and wooded wines, which um, the panel really enjoyed and also um, rewarded quite highly.